everyone welcome back to another video of arc survival evolve thank you guys for tuning in you guys are amazing and welcome to a new different type of video okay i know you see the webcam i know you see me all right all right i i have never done a webcam video for arc before today's the first one so hopefully you guys enjoy this um if you guys like it let me know i'm trying a little bit of different editing style as well so um if you guys like that as well please let me know but um we're back it's been a while since we've actually played arc um i think the last thing we were doing was going inside of the ice wyvern cave getting ourselves some ice wyverns uh and we also have a lightning wyvern so that's the thing we tried to get a fire wyvern didn't really work out very well well, we did it was horrible it was very hard but um we're gonna go back and do that just not now today we need to focus on something different there's been a lot of things changing within the survival world i'm gonna be honest i got burnt out i got dried and i did not feel like playing arc so what i did was i started exploring within mods in arc and i found a nice list i think about five mods that i have added to the survival world where some of you guys might have already seen just like these guys over here but we're not going to talk about those yet first we're going to go through the list of all of the mods that we have uh, added within the survival world and pretty much why i added it and and uh, why it's just pretty much going to i guess we can start with this one bulk storage is one of the mods that we added um pretty much i, I the reason why i want this is because we're gonna have a lot of metal from the metal farm and a lot of everything from everything else that we're going to have that we don't even know about yet uh, but we're gonna have a lot of it and i'd rather just have this because i feel like this is way more organized versus just having a bunch of vaults that you don't know what's in them um you look in them and just a bunch of random stuff it's not very organized with having it like this I feel like it could be very organized, okay? That's that's all I'm trying to say. This along with auto sorting, because this mod also adds this little crate here, which if I were to put in any of the items, the items automatically get sorted into the respective boxes that they need to be in, which makes life so much better. Instead of just having to go, oh my God, I have wood here. Let me put my wood in here. Oh, I got stone here. Let me put my stone in here. I could just put everything inside of this box and call it a day. It's so much easier, so much, it's just, it's just better. Okay, it's just better. And that's one of the main reasons why, well, I think the main reasons why I even added this mod is because of that mod's great mods awesome another one of the mods that i added was dino storage if you guys see in my bottom right hand corner i have like this little paintball little gun little thing pretty much what this is is chiropods on steroids so for example if i were to shoot this guy i collected him just like a cryopod would he's now been collected i can go in my inventory mating ready shows all the stats of my boy you feel me everything i need to know about him is right here and if and whenever i just want to take him out this is all I gotta do. Just like a red card bar, you throw it down, he comes out. Easy, simple, nice, no cooldown, you feel me? None of that, no no waiting for you to collect. I could just shoot, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I, I could collect everything. I feel like this is gonna come in handy a lot once we get down into mating and, and breeding some amazing dinosaurs to go out there and fight for us. Um, it also helped with lag because the more dinosaurs you have in one area, the more laggy the game gets. As you can see, we're at 60 FPS, um, but my... Uh, uh, my farm over there if i leave that guy running for like a few hours next thing you know i'm at 12 and there's like a trillion things i need to kill over there okay so the more of these guys we have around our actual teams the laggier the game will be um and just having this handy to just store all of our dinosaurs inside of a chest or whatever we may store them in um would be so much better all right um but that's the main reason why i got this mod because it's just so convenient and kyra paws aren't it's just better right it's just better um so yeah that's that mod now another mod that we added was pandora's box if you can see this little guy right here is pretty much you can think of it as a backpack in arc okay so if i if i take this guy and i place this guy down boom there's my pandora's box uh, and i can open this guy up i got items in here i got some food i got some leech blood in here it also shows the capacity the percentage and everything like that um and it also has a spoil multiplier along with weight reduction which i think is pretty cool um, and then whenever I want to, I could just pick this guy up and boom, it's in my inventory. That simple, that easy. It, I don't know what that noise was, but it's pretty much just a backpack. That's, that's all it is. Pandora's box is just a backpack. Let's be holding more stuff inside of my inventory without actually it being in my inventory and making my inventory look the jank. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that mod, which I think is beautiful. Now, the fourth mod that we added was a weight reduction mod. It's called Alpha's. It's like one of the most popular mods out right now. Um, it's Alpha's storage mod or something like that. Pretty much it reduces the weight of every single item and it also increases the amount of items you can have per stack so um 
Let me see if, yeah, this is a great example. So look at that, 13, 1,313 iron, just right there, and it, and it only weighs 131, which is still a lot of weight, right? But that's a lot of iron. It'll help a lot, mainly with the uh, the farm over there, because one of the reasons or one of the problems that I kept running into when I was trying to use the farm with my Therizinosaur is I would kill everything over there, but my Therizinosaur couldn't walk, right, because of the weight of all the scrap metal. So what I would have to do was I would have to go on my Therizinosaur's inventory, either drop everything or transfer it to me but then i can't run so it was it was just super duper inconvenient right and just having it like this where i can pretty much just hold everything or my therizinosaur where can hold everything is extremely convenient i can get a lot more resources considering running, we we have a long way to go in this world okay we might have dinosaurs we might have wyverns but our base is nowhere near ready we don't have anything you know what I mean? we have a long way to go and we're gonna need a lot of resources to go that long way right so this will really help a lot with that um and that's one of the main reasons why i got that now the last mod that we got which i just added i haven't even tested it at all i just saw it i was like yeah we're gonna need this you know what i mean so this the, the modesty tranquilizer mod which um i forgot the exact name of it but it's, it's like one of the best tranquilizer mods out there that adds different forms of narcotics it has different form of tranquilizer do uh, darts uh different forms of tranquilizer arrows which pretty much increases the the damage or the torpidity level of the dinosaur that gets hit by it right so if i go inside of this guy and we search up narcotics it's four different types of narcotics um five you can include the og narcotic and to make these narcotics it pretty much costs narcotics so like for example this increases the target's torpidity by five times as much as the standard narcotic and what do you need to make it five narcotics you know what i mean so it, it just levels it up you know so if we bulk bulk make narcotics boom 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 we can make a bunch of these guys then we can make a bunch of these guys and we'll probably stop here because we don't have any rare flowers but i mean hey 10x torpidity you know what i mean that's going to come to handy instead of shooting a rex 100 times we could just shoot it 10 times and call it a day right um and that'd be really really good when we do get to the point of making our amazing crazy rex because we're gonna need to tame a bunch of rex to find the best one with melee damage and health and stamina and, and all the other amazing stats that's out there right so yeah that's why we got that mod and that's pretty much all the mods that we added nothing crazy nothing fancy but it's gonna make our lives so much easier so what are we going to actually get into today i will tell you we have two jobs to do today the first job is to continue working on the storage location here um i started a little bit on the base i i don't really think this is going to be a permanent location as far as the storage area goes it might be um but I don't know. I, I really don't know. But this is just our storage area, I feel. Uh, we got some vaults here, obviously, storage, smelting area. And then we're going to have all the crafting stations over here. We don't have them all here, like the fabricator, um, which we need to move over here. It's still over there, but it's got uh, resources in there or whatnot. But um, we need to finish this area off, which isn't going to take too long. I mean, honestly, the only thing we need is a fabricator. What the hell? Oh, that's uh, that's my Dodicarus doing Dodicarus things. All right, cool. I was like, a flying rock in the air. I... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand. I just, it was weird. But, but yeah, we're going to need to get our fabricator up in here. Um, and I was also thinking about making a grinder, an industrial grinder, which I mean, hey, we got the metal, right? We got the metal. The crystal is what we don't have. The oil, we have the polymer, we have the cementing paste, we have the crystal we don't have, which might not be too difficult to get. We could just hop on our wire and go farm some crystal real quick, which shouldn't be too bad. The thing is, I have no clue why people make grinders. Let me be completely honest, grind up crafted items in certain resources. I've never used a grinder before and I don't know why I would need one, but I mean, I want one for the simple fact that I don't have one. We're going to need to do that. And then the last thing that we're going to be doing is actually changing. Okay, we're going to be changing up our, uh, our metal farm a little bit. Um, and this farm... Our chitin farm has been uh, neglected, okay? It's It's been absolutely... Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's been absolutely neglected. Um, I need to upgrade this. But we're going to be changing our metal farm up just a little bit. As you can see, there's dinosaurs in here that I can't even hit because they're stuck in the foundations, okay? That's just, that's just a simple fact. I can't hit them. My wyverns can't hit them. The therizinosaurs can't hit them. None of my dinosaurs can hit them or kill them because... They are stuck inside of the floors. So my plan was to actually just pick up the floors. Um, 
and just like i feel like if the egg isn't close to the actual foundation then maybe they will be able to just not get stuck in the foundation um at least that's my plan i don't know if it'll work per se but that's that's just the general plan that i'm going to at least try right um and i also might try a different design if i keep using the therizinosaur i think it might be better to just have the therizinosaur in here um, and just kill everything instead of like having him on the outside trying to kill everything just so he can hit everything versus like having a wall in his way not being able to hit anything right because that's annoying no one likes that no one likes that at all so my plan was to just pick up all the the little foundations here um do something with these because i have no clue what to do with them and and be happy the problem though is that these uh door frames are actually on the foundations here so if i pick up this foundation that entire thing is going to fall down which is really really bad and we don't want that so i don't know what i'm going to do about that just yet um but i need to figure it out because uh yeah something's got to give I do not like the fact that these guys are inside the walls at all. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be working on today. Nothing crazy, nothing, nothing super duper, you know, magnificent, I suppose. Um, I do want to, do I want to move? I uh, actually don't know if I want to move the grill over. Maybe not. I don't know. We honestly, honestly speaking, we might just remake this entire farm. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, like I like it over here, but considering the fact that we have the whole freaking storage area over here, I feel like it will also make sense to just have the farm somewhere near close by because it's just not right. It was either that or make this over there, but I'm definitely not making this back over and just putting it over there. I think it might just be better just to have the farm a little bit closer. It doesn't have to be right next to it, of course, but just a tad bit closer, I think would be way better. In, uh, in my honest opinion, just way better. Now, the question is, if I do do that, where? Where would I actually have it? And I also think that I want to start using my wyverns as the killing tool um, or the main killing tool just for the ability that they have. Just for the... That ability right there, I feel like, is is awesome to use um, for, for killing versus the Therizinosaurs, which are fine, right? The Therizinosaurs are an amazing early game uh dps dinosaur that you can use for this farm but i want to use the wyverns because i have a wyvern and i want to use the wyverns um because i could just simply do that and everything in there takes damage which i think is beautiful versus their xenozor right um but the question is where are we actually going to be putting this farm the new one that's a that's a we just changed plants we're making a whole new um farm because they're easy to make and i don't feel like just changing that one up we're just gonna make a whole new one i'm thinking because it's got to be closer than that one could just make it right here i mean this area is flat right yeah this area is relatively flat just like in this general vicinity yeah, I think I'm, I'm thinking right here. I'm going to put down a foundation real quick. I'm thinking we're just going to make it right there. Um, and we're we're not going to make the chitin farm um, just yet. I don't think. I just had a crazy idea. What if we actually combine both farms? What if one floor... Would that work? Okay, maybe that won't work. I... I I actually don't know if that'll work. I was going to say, what if one floor was just Parasaurs, Tech Parasaurs, and then the second floor was just Mantises? That way we don't have to make two farms. We could just have one farm and we'll have Tech Parasaurs and Mantises in here and we just kill them all at one time. It just call it a day. Make it, just make it easy. Make it make sense. Make it easy. Um, I don't know if that would work, though. I would have to test it. I just don't want the eggs to fall down onto the platforms, which I don't think they will. Because I've done multiple levels of the Tech Parasaur farm. And the eggs, they always just, like, fall down in here. They never, uh, they never, like, don't, you know, they never get stuck on the ramp. So, I mean, we could test it since we're making a new one anyways. Let's test it. You know what I mean? There's no reason why we shouldn't test it, right? Um, so, yeah. Look. Another flying rock. Go, Dicarus! What are you doing? I love it. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it because I need stone. We should tame some more of those guys, by the way. Just to have them around, beating up stone. We'll find one collected 10k stone on it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just nice. It's just nice. It's just really convenient. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually get... Um, I think my building materials are in here. Let's get some foundations out. We don't need that many. 
we honestly don't even need that many but we're just gonna have that many i just want to mark just a general location for the new tech farm which um we could really just put here i suppose because i also want to have it where i could just uh put all the resources inside of a box and they automatically get sorted over here right that's why i want it so close because the cl that's not close enough right if i put a box over there and i put the resources inside of it it's not close enough to automatically get sorted over in this location so we're gonna make it right here now what direction do i want it to be in is the question of the day hmm I guess we could just have him like this general action. That wouldn't be bad, right? Place this little guy down like that. And yeah, this is the start of something new. And uh, how far can we go out? Because this starts to go upwards. We don't need that much space. We can also just go that way. I think we're just going to go that way. But uh. But yeah, that's the start of something new. Excited for that. Yay. Now I need to actually put my foundation over foundation. I need to put my, um, what are you? A fabricator over in my storage area. This guy is broken though. We need some minting paste, metal, spark powder, crystal, and oil, which we have the oil. We have the metal. We have the crystal. I need spark, but what do I need? Cementing paste, spark powder. Okay. All of which I can find over here. So, oh, cementing face. That was what I say. Cementing face. Where'd you go? Oh, the spark powder might be a little bit difficult. No, we got fifty. We need to get more flint. That's uh, that's something we need to do. Something we also can't automate. Sadly, it would be nice to, but we're gonna have to just go out there and get some flint one of these days. It's a good thing you don't really use flint for much, except repairing fabricators, apparently and nice awesome so now we can pick you up which there's a lot of stuff in you ah eh, fuck it we're just gonna pick you up i don't care we're just gonna pick you up and then move you over here i don't i don't care about those resources. i do care about those resources let me stop i do care about those resources i need to go get them i need to go get them okay and i think yeah that's that's good i think that's good i think that's pretty good and then we could just boom 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 and one metal i guess for no reason right yep now we get the gasoline we got our fabricator over here i'm going to leave the refrigerator and the grill over in this location though just because there's no point in me transporting it over there um, once we're done making a tech parasol farm along with the mantis farm, we can like put the grill in the new spot because the mantis farm is the farm that actually gives us meat, which we're going to need a lot of meat. Well, I guess we don't need a lot of meat. I mean, we really don't need a lot of meat, but I mean, it makes the meat, so we might as well use it, right? Okay. This was a bad idea. Let me, uh, there we go. What's heavy on us? This obviously and you need do you need weights uh then they probably not you don't really need anything but stamina i guess there's a lot more stamina for you you fly longer distances now a lot longer distances even though i don't even feed this guy chitin i've noticed that these guys eat chitin i haven't fed him chitin like like at all and i've got no idea why he just isn't starving at all are you starving well, I mean, I guess you are, but like, I haven't fed you chitin like at all, which is kind of crazy. I'm super duper surprised at that. Put this in there. All good. I don't really care about the armor. Can I just destroy this? No, we're just going to drop you because I don't care about you. You're useless to me. All right, cool. Now we got our fabricate over here. Um, We're going to need. We need hide. How much hide do I have? 79 hide. That's embarrassing. We're going to take it all, though. It's okay. I'll get more high. I'll definitely get more high. That way, we can actually turn you on. And we can be happy. We can be happy about ourselves. All right. So, that's done. The only thing I need to do now is probably move the generator. 
What else is in here? If it's just metal, I'm not taking it. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take the lamppost. Don't really care about the stone. Um, yeah, the only thing I need to move now is the generator, but I think I'm going to keep it over here just because of the meat that's here. The meat that's here is nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was. I do want to make that grinder, though, so I believe what we're going to do is probably go ahead and collect a bunch of crystal so that we could get that grinder up and running just for I don't even know what a grinder does I'm being completely honest we're gonna place these wherever I don't know where that's the one that one's not even connected I don't know what a grinder does but we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure it out all right I'm gonna go get crystal and what dinosaur do I want to take for this I guess I will take my you 552 weight which one of you guys, you have 36 weight. That was a level 250. 743. 1,000. All right, we're going to take you, even though you, you know what? Let's just drop all of this. We don't need any of this, except the we need, we do need the meat. You see, you have two different types of meat on you. We don't need that meat. We need, but everything else is dead. All right, everything else doesn't matter. Just the meat. All right, we're gonna be taking you guys. I will see you guys back when I actually get to the Crystal Ram of Crystally. So we have made it to the Crystal Ram of Crystally where we usually get our crystal and there's not a lot of crystal here. There's literally only two nodes of crystal. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get more crystal. There's gotta be a cave or something, right? Oh wait, isn't the... If I'm not mistaken, the Magma Sword Cave has crystal, doesn't it? I need to check that out. I'm actually not too sure on that. Is there a crystal node here? Am I, am I just collecting stone at this point? I actually don't know. I feel like that's just broken crystal. Um, yeah. I, I feel like I need to check that out. We're right next to it. We might as well check it out real quick, right? Because there's literally just... Oh, there's crystal down there. Might as well collect this, right? Ew, look at him, guys. I do want another Dodicarus. What level are you? Level 50? Does it even matter what level the Dodicaruses are at, at, anymore? Realistically? I feel like I could just collect Dodicaruses and just have an army of Dodicaruses just walking around the, walking around the base. Getting all the stone that I would ever need so I can make all the, all the cementing pinks I would ever need. To make all the metal that I ever need. You know what I mean? It's just convenient. I think we're going to skip out on uh, going to the Magma Sword Cave, by the way. Just because we have enough crystal. This is like 150 we have so far. Probably close to 200 now. Yeah, we got a decent amount of crystal. I do need to figure out like what cave gives more crystal, though. And I wonder if there's a dinosaur that also collects crystal. At a faster rate than my hand. Like how many Dodicarus is it? When I need to go get me a Dodicarus farm, or when I'm ready to go to get a Dodicarus army, we're coming over here. There's way too many Dodicarus do 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 over here to not take advantage. Way too much. So I just realized, are you mine or are you trying to kill me? You are mine. Wow. I just realized that um, I needed 2,000 crystal and we only have 300. So we're going to need a lot more crystal than I thought. Um, both of you guys are mine. Wow. They must have got stuck here on uh, one of my adventures. Um, but yeah, we're going to need a lot more crystal than I thought. So we're going to go ahead and go inside this magma star cave. And uh, we're just going to look around while going really fast briefly. Oh, there's no way out. I'm definitely getting hit by something. Unless they don't attack me. I wonder if they, they don't attack me. Is it because I'm on a wyvern? It's convenient. Wow. I thought this was the cave where there was one way out. Wait, is he about to... Oh, shh. They do attack. They do attack. Oh, no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're not going to die to this. Yeah, we're fine. I didn't think they attacked for some reason. I don't know why I didn't think they would attack me. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I didn't see any crystal in there either way. But, yeah, we're going to need a lot more crystal than I thought. Um, Which is a problem since I can't find any crystal. Crystal? Crystal can't find any crystal and we're literally next to a volcano i've got no idea why i can't find there's got to be a cave or something is that crystal 
Uh oh, I think we got some. That looks like crystal. That is definitely crystal. It looks like a lot of it too. Look at that. I'm in love. Okay, we're gonna collect this. While mining this, I um, I realized that it might have been smarter to just chiropod one of my magma source and then bring them over here and then have them hit the crystal. And then I could just take the crystal off of their inventory and then put them back in. You know what I mean? Like that would have probably been smarter and faster. What was that noise? Okay, false alarm. That would have probably been smarter and faster and probably better because I would have probably gotten more resources versus just hitting this with my pickaxe all day because I've only have 1100 so far. And uh, I mean, we got a lot more crystal notes to go to destroy, but like we're only at 1K, we need 2K. And uh, we've been here for a while. We've had two things trying to kill us so far. The freaking dinosaurs that are spiky that shoots a little spiky poisonous balls of death and terror at you. Yeah, we've had those on us and we're hot. Which is bad. I hope I'm, I'm probably losing health uh, every single second now. But yeah, we got to, we got to, you know, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, 1300. Got a few more to go. Hopefully we can make it. All right, so I'm finally done. Um, I was able to collect 2,176 crystal which is awesome um i had some some a lot more stone than this but uh we're not gonna collect the stone i don't care about the stone i'm keeping the flint though because we might need some uh some spark powder we will definitely need some spark powder but 20 you know 2100 isn't too bad i think i collected everything i probably missed this one obviously or these two since they're still over here i want to collect a little bit more crystal though just because i know after we get done making this grinder and spinning that 2000 crystal that we worked so very hard for we're gonna need more that's just reality of it. I, I don't even know if this is a crystal. Oh, it is. We're going to need more. So it, I might as well just collect everything I can here um, and then just remember to spot. I'm hoping. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to respawn back. I'm just hoping that it responds back kind of kind of fast. Is this even? No, that's a dead crystal. It's a dead crystal. Are you dead crystal? You look like a real crystal. Is that a frog? I know I just heard a frog, right? I'm not I'm not tripping. I definitely heard a frog. Um, how much do we have now? Okay, so we, we're gonna have 300 crystal left over, which isn't a bad amount, to be honest. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and head back home. I'm going to make this grinder, and I'm 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 hopefully going to be excited about what it actually gives me. Hopefully. All right, we're back. I already put the crystal inside of the uh, the fabricator here, but we're missing a few more resources to actually make the grinder. We need metal and we need polymore. Metal is definitely easy as hell um <laughs> uh we got five grand okay we just need three so let's go ahead and transfer this i'm actually way too heavy for this what if i split it can i walk i could barely walk but this will be fine right this this will you know this will be fine and there's also some metal inside of the uh what do you call this the smithy that i can use as well and the metal inside of the smithy is actually just like the regular degular metal so i should probably use this up first before i'm using my my super duper good metal what is that that's definitely over three thousand, right okay so uh grinder the only thing we need now is the polymer which is 600 polymer that's something that i don't think we actually have um it's got 125 right there yeah almost positive we don't have the polymer which we could get it we would just have to turn the mantis farm on real quick which is a little bit broken it's a little bit broken um it'll still spawn the mantises but yeah there's just nothing holding them back so once we actually fight them we're going to need to have a dinosaur that's actually going to do a lot of damage but that doesn't mean we can't use it though it doesn't mean we can't use it so let's go ahead and turn this guy on actually um, and made mating, and we're gonna probably have to get ourselves a saddle to back these guys up because uh, you guys aren't actually. When the eggs drop, they're not gonna, you know, they're gonna drop weird. Um, but we're gonna have to wait on that just because we're gonna need a lot of polymer. We're gonna have to wait for them to spawn a lot. Um, I don't even know where the saddle is. Where is the mantis saddle actually? Might as well just make a new one at this point. Is it on you? No, it's not on you. Yeah, we're just going to make a new one because is it on you? Wait, is it on you? There's a saddle on you. OK, cool. We found it. Um, There we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for that. And we're just going to need to back you guys up so that you guys actually drop your eggs in the correct. Uh, in the correct locations for me. Because that is extremely important.
There we go. That's good. All right, there we go. All right. That should do it. Um, I don't know why I'm taking... You know what? Let's actually... I'm going to keep the saddle on on over here just in case. So, yeah. That should do it. Um, after that, we should be able to make the grinder. And I want to say as far as the storage location goes, we should be good. I don't think there's anything else that we would need to make. I mean, we got the industrial forge, smithy, chemistry, fabricator, grinder. Um... What other craft? Oh, the uh, the the cooker, huh? Burns gasoline to cook large quantities of food quickly. Uh, put various ingredients in this to make soup, stews, and dyes. So I guess this would be good to make like fertil uh, not fertilizer, a uh, kibble. I suppose. But do we even need that right now? I don't think we do. I think I'd rather have the grinder, even though I don't know what it does. Um, but it pretty much cooks food. It's like an industrial forge. Um, wait, the industrial forge doesn't cook food. The grill does. I'm dumb. So it's like a grill. Just a grill mixed with a uh, campfire. Because it can also make, like, fertilizer. Not fertilizer. Dyes and stuff like that, right? So, eh. I don't think we'll need it right now. I'm not going to make it right now, at least. I need to get some more water, but I don't think we need it right now. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the new and improved version of our metal farm which is a little exciting um i need to yeah we're gonna have to work on that a little bit let's see here let's get out the get out the door frames and i'm also gonna get out more of the foundations we're gonna need a lot more we're not a lot more foundations than what we have now uh let's see i think i need some minting face don't i yeah, I need some minting piece of metal. We're, mm, we're gonna need. What do we need? Where's my cementing paste? Hold up. Oh, there we go. 500. I'll be taking that from you. And let's go ahead and take the rest of this metal. Oh, we can't carry it. Um, Should I just throw it over there? All right, that works. And we're going to lead a little bit more cementing paste than that, which means we're also need chitin, which we can't get chitin because uh, the farm isn't up. So once we get that farm up and running, well, it is up and running, but once they, you know, it spawns a little bit more, we can get ourselves some more metal. Um, but we should have enough to make ourselves a decent amount of platforms and everything already. So we're going to actually need some more of these double door frames. Not 84, probably like 20. Let's go and make 20 of those. Um, which I think will be good. You know what? I'm actually going, yeah. Thinking if I should make the metal dinosaur gate. I believe that I want to. Yeah, we're going to make this and we're going to also make two of those. And that should be good for the most part. That should be good. Okay, so we have to envision how this is going to actually look. Let's, let's go back over here and look at this one real quick, because this is a two by three. At least the open area is a two by three. But since we're going to open up the open area a little bit more. Which means it's going to be a four by one, two, three, four, five. It's going to be a four by five. So we need a four by five little bit of a uh, open area for us to work with. Right. So. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. So right here. And we're just need to pick up a bunch of these. So one, uh, one, two, three, four, and then five, right? So it 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 had to be six. Oh, four by six, two by three times two is a four by six. So it was a four by six. I'm tripping. Okay, so a four by six, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and we definitely. Oh, I, I never ran out. I was gonna say we definitely can't put one over there, but 
Maybe we can. If we can, that'd be nice. Okay, we can. Awesome. And I'm gonna have to move uh, the Rexus in a minute here. I'm starving. What? There we go. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And then all we have to do now is complete this thing. Which we're gonna need the Rexes to move. Where's my Rex saddle? You know, I should keep all of my saddles inside the Pandora's box. That will make so much sense. That way, all the saddles that I use are always on me. Or I could just give everything a saddle. Either way would probably work, right? Especially for my Tech Rex. Like, look at him. He's awesome looking, right? All right, there we go. And uh, don't fall off the edge. Nice. Okay. I don't think I would need to move the other one. And we need a lot more foundation. Well, not a lot. Maybe just five more, maybe. Five, six more. More than likely. Metal. We'll make ten. Just because we have the metal. We have the resources. See, this is, you know, it's so nice. Just always having your resources that you need handy. You know what I mean? It's so very nice. So very nice. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and get the door as well. Oh, wrong one. And I also will need you. Okay, awesome. And you know what? Let's uh, let's take those out. And those are too heavy. We'll keep those in. Oh, yeah, we should be good with just this. Need two more, and then... Okay, if I'm not wrong, these go on the outside, right? So, if I'm not wrong, there's a great possibility that I'm wrong, right? One, two, four. Okay, I might be extremely wrong here. Wait a second. Did I mess up? Because these are three... Okay, I messed up a little bit because there's only three spawning platforms, which, mm, yeah, I definitely messed up just a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. Hold up. <laughs> I messed up just a little bit. So one, two, and three. That's all we would need. So then this needs to be foundations. <laughs> I messed up just a tad. I don't know how, but it, it definitely happened. Unless I want to have more spawning platforms, which I could, considering, but I don't. We don't really need it. All right. Nice. And then there's one, two. No. Yeah, it's just like this. Okay, I'm... We might be making this back over eventually, um, but... For now, I believe that it's like this. Okay, awesome. So. Nice. <laughs> nice. Just, just nice. Okay. That's all I got to say is nice. Now we got to bring these guys up um, about three times, right? Three. And we got plenty of these. One, three. One, two, three. Okay. And this is where the stairs comes in. I believe it's three. It's either three or four. Honestly, it, it, as long as it's high, it doesn't even matter. How high? It's just, it's just gotta be high, but I'm pretty sure this one over here is a three. Right? What's that? One, two... Yeah, this one's over here is a three. Which we could make it a four. I am not opposed to making it a four. Just because of the, the breath of the dragon actually has the ability to kill your tames. 
So, and I've had that happen. Um, so making it a little bit higher might decrease the chance of me accidentally killing some of my teams that I have that are like the females or whatever. So let's go ahead and make this one more higher. Just like that. And that should be good. All right. So then what we do is we take the stairs and we place them not like that, actually. Like that. Come on, come on. Come on, sign on my crops. There we go. Nice. Okay, this is looking good so far. That way, when the eggs drop, there's no foundations. Except here. So that's probably why I had expanded it. Yeah, that's exactly the reason. Okay, so we were right the first time. This needs to be expanded because they could still drop down like here and get stuck on this foundation, which is something we definitely do not want to have happen. So we were completely right the first time on having it just like this. However, we're not putting extra spawning platforms here, right? That's just not going to happen. We might need to put walls down, though, just so that they uh, can't actually get out, which... Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to put walls down as soon as I uh, get some walls I actually put down. But yeah, we were definitely right the, the first time. We weren't tripping at all. <laughs> we had it all under control. <laughs> our math was right or we just double guessed ourselves. All right, there we go. All right, this is looking beautiful so far. Um, So now what we need to do is actually place down the wall here. Not the wall, but the gate. Why am I using a gate? I don't know, but I'm using a gate. And the gate would go... Because we're going to remove all of this. Yeah. The gate will go here. So. Place you down. Place you down. Gate goes down. Awesome. And then we just place in the doors. It's like that. Looking good. And then we just place walls down here. They don't even have to be too high. Yeah. We do need to place down the this is this is going to be the tricky part because we need the we're going to need to place down the male parasaur. It's going to be a little bit tricky. So we're going to need pillars. Go ahead and get the ceilings out and everything as well. But yeah, we should be good. This is coming. This is uh, this is coming on a lot better than I thought it would be. If I'm being completely honest, this is coming along a lot better, a lot better. How much walls do we have? We have five. Wow. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more walls than that. And let's go ahead and get the pillars out as well. We're gonna need those. Do we need the metal? Tri yeah, we're gonna need the metal triangles. Um. Awesome. Am I still heavy? Cool. All right, so to do this situation, let's do. <laughs> I'm I'm rem slowly but surely remembering how to make this trap. I'm trying to remember like how to make it efficiently. I guess let's get five of you down. Should be good, and we're also gonna need a catwalk. Let's make five of those. Um. Oh, we already had eight in here. I didn't even know that. Nice. Okay, so let's see here. To make this in the center. I'm just going to briefly... We're going to take that up eventually. We're going to, like, remove that. But we do something a little bit like this. Then we put this one down. Put this one down. And then we can put the foundation right there to make that like a middle foundation and then the catwalk will have to be here so then we simply pick those up place that little guy down and then we could get our pillar out and pillar goes right there perfect And then we just bring it up however uh, many we need to bring it up. Which, honestly, since this is one higher, I've got no idea what this needs to be. I believe it was five at first, but we're going to keep it here. Because that looks relatively good. Yeah. 
I mean, we're only going to have one level. It's not like we're going to have multiple levels. It would, it would matter a lot if we were going to have multiple levels because that male parasaur would have to affect three different levels of uh, tech parasaurs. But we're only going to have one level of tech parasaurs, so it doesn't really matter that much. So we're not going to trip over it too heavy since we don't really need to. Then we can just simply pick up everything here. There we go. All that's good and dandy. We need to get our catwalks out. Let's get our five walls out too. Um, and I, the walls would just be that simple. Boom, boom. We don't even need to make it higher than this. They're not going to be able to walk through. Ooh, that's actually a... Can they? Can parasaurs walk? You know what? I actually don't know. I don't know if they can walk through that. Um, we're going to test it out real quick with that parasaur. But in the, in the case they can, we do have a solution. But it would suck if they could. All right. Let's see here. Can you walk through this? Perfect. Only your head can peek through. That is beautiful. You can't walk through it. Awesome. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and get this situation done. All right. And then we just go out too. And then the, uh, the male parasaur will be here. Is that high? That looks high to me. We can always bring it down one whenever, you know, whenever it's all said and done, we can always just bring it down one. But that does look a little bit tall. That does look a little bit tall. But that should be good. Now, the only thing we need is more walls. Um, and then we just put all the parasaurs in place. And then the uh, the whole farm is practically done. What are you guys? We got a female, a male, female. Great. Female? Female. Wow. Great. Look how convenient that is. So convenient. We didn't even have to go over there and get those. So very convenient. Now to put these guys in place. Just going to put down temporary ceilings here. Make our lives a little bit easier when we're actually like maneuvering them. And what I like to do as well is change all of these to ramps. Because it just looks better versus stairs. All right. Um, so let's get our, I, I'm mad it doesn't actually say what gender they are on there. Oh, it says it when I collect it though, because this is a female parasaur, right? So, female parasaur. Um, we got another female parasaur. We don't really have to put them all on the same side. This one's the male one. That worked so well for some reason, and I love it. I love how well that worked. Um, and then the last one could just go right there. Awesome. And the only thing we need now is the saddle. What what are you? You're male, okay. You're you're gonna stay down here. Alright. And we just back you up to where your back leg is actually like floating. Which is perfect. Just like that. Now we can just do the exact same thing to you. Honestly, I'm going to line you guys up. I've changed my mind. Just for like future proofing, I guess. Oh, this is awkward. Don't fall. Whatever you do, don't fall. And I need water. Uh, okay, nice. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. No, wrong direction. Back it up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was tricky. For no reason, that was tricky. But we're fine now. Back you up to where your back leg is floating. Line you up a little bit better. All right. That should be good. I hear you. I hear you. You're thirsty. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. But yeah, um, I'm actually going to set it up to where there's actually three on there. Wow. What the what? 
Excuse me? You look incredible, my friend. Absolutely marvelous, don't you? Don't you, don't you? This doesn't kill me, right? Nope. Nice. One day. We, we still haven't even explored the water of Ark. I, I, can you believe that? That is insane. That's one thing we need to do. We still haven't even gone inside of the water biomes, caves, or whatever the mess, you know? We just haven't. <laughs> one day we will. We got some uh, we got some sacros on the side of the island as well that we need to use, so one day we'll we'll explore that for sure. One day. Slowly but surely. As soon as this is done. Nah, it's definitely not gonna be as soon as this is done. But we're doing we're, we're, we're gonna do it. Okay, we're gonna do it. Alright, I am back, and there's an egg here that's I don't know who laid that, because no one is even over there to be able to lay that. Who the hell laid this, okay? Anyways, we're going to pick you up, because you are actually going to be on this side instead. Alright, just like that. That looks good. Oops. And where are you? Last one. Let's put you, um... Uh, I think that's... Whoa. He literally kicked me off. That's insane. Okay. Let's back it up. Back it up. Beep, beep. Back it up. Nice. I think that's good. Yeah. That should be good. They're not going to get stuck. Unless the game of Ark just sucks and they get stuck on the floor. Which, let's hope that actually doesn't happen. Um, but, other than that, they shouldn't get stuck. Everyone's enabled on mating, correct? Yes. You aren't. Nice. I don't think you guys need is berries. But, you know, you're fine without, you know, eating. Who needs to eat anyways? And then the only thing you need to do, my good friend, is walk forward. Just a tab where you're like right in between everyone. And now, if I enable mating on you, I should see hearts on everyone else. So I do accept you, which means you need to move forward a little bit more. Oh, wait, do I? No, I don't. Okay. I'm actually going to back you up because you're not perfectly aligned. All right, what about now? You still don't have hearts, huh? Hmm. Instead of moving him, I'm going to move you. Move you a little bit further back. Actually, you know what? Move you a little bit further like this. Because, I mean... You don't necessarily have to be just on that side, right? You could... No! Oh my god, I thought he fell for a second. There we go. Now you got hearts. Alright, we're all good. We're all fine. Nice. The only thing we gotta do now is just wait for uh, the eggs to hatch or do what, uh, you know, do what eggs do best. I might actually collect a little bit more parasaurs and put them on that other side just so we can for, you know, reasons. I mean, why not, right? I think I'm gonna do that real quick. Yeah, let's do that real quick. All right, so a little bit, a little bit of changes, okay? A little bit of changes, right? Uh, so one thing that I ran into was the fact that the eggs were a little bit too cold and they couldn't incubate. So what I did to fix that is I simply just had a bunch of generators. Um, so I put a shit ton of generators around here, um, but this didn't cover the entire area. So what I did was I put more generators in the front here, one right there, one right there. Um, I'm mad that the strings kind of like just go right across the screen right there. So what I'm going to try to do is pick this up. I don't know why the strings didn't disappear. Um, it's weird. 
Uh, they're still being powered. What? How are you still being powered? I'm extremely confused as to how these things are still being powered. Um, considering I turned it off and like it shouldn't be powered anymore, right? Weird. Um Okay, so now if I were to pick this back up, do strings disappear? No, they just turn back on. I've got no idea what's happening, um, but I don't want to break the game. So we're just gonna We're just gonna do that and kind of deal with the strings because now we got strings on both sides. So we made the situation worse. We made the situation worse, and I didn't even think we could make it even worse, but we made the situation where it looks kind of cool. We'll give it that. It looks kind of cool. But now we have a look at that. They're stacking on each other. We have so many parasaurs. They're stacking on each other, bro. Look at that. Um, I think that's awesome. We also decided not to go with the walls. Instead, we're just going to go with the railings because the railings pretty much serve as a wall. And I don't know. They look better. Um, so there's practically no way they can get in or out of this except for this door, which we're going to open. And we're going to go ahead and get our wyvern. Um, not the lightning wyvern, although the lightning wyvern would be cool. One thing I do want to test, I don't think wyverns can damage structures. Let's see here. So this one's at 1,904 health. If I blast you do, you, do you get damaged? You don't get damaged. Awesome. So the only thing that it'll damage is quite literally all of the, uh, all of the, the parasaurs in there. We're going to use the lightning wyvern because I like the lightning wyvern as far as like attacking goals versus the snow wyvern um, or ice wyvern. And we're just going to look in here and we're just going to let it rip. That's all we have to do. Just straight up let it rip and it's going to literally eat everything. Make sure that nothing in here is stuck. And there we go. It literally reached everything. You see how beautiful that was? Nothing is left alive. Nothing is stuck inside of a foundation. Nothing's in the corner here unable to get eaten except that guy because he's flown outside, which honestly, that's fine with me. It's perfect. And we're we're getting more eggs. OK, we're getting more eggs. I can literally leave this guy here and just like just be happy. OK, he's not even if I were to bring. Can you even go closer? You can go closer. Their attack radius is insane, but I don't think he's going to reach that guy all the way over there on the outside. And let's see how much metal we got. 749 metal just from that. You know, I think that's great. This can also be used as a way to level up your dinosaurs, obviously. Like, I could get a T-Rex in here and do the exact same thing. Level up my boys, um, and I'm happy. This, uh, this was a success. I consider this a success. I think this is a better design versus that design over there. Even though that design is great, the dinosaurs get stuck in foundations, and it's annoying. This one, the dinosaurs will never get stuck in foundation because there's no foundations around them. The only downside is you're going to have to use a shit ton of um, air conditionings, as you can see now, to cover this entire area with air conditionings. You, there's also a dinosaur. I forgot the name of it. There's also a dinosaur that acts as an air condition, which you could just sit in the middle, I think. Um, but I don't know if the parasaurs will attack that dinosaur because I want to say that they will literally... No, they only attack the dinosaur that's near that's attacking them. So, yeah, you could do that. Just get that one dinosaur that I... You could probably Google it. It's probably Google it. Air conditioned dinosaur or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think this is awesome. Yeah, this is great. The only thing I need to do now is probably get a box, put it here. That way I could just wyvern, take the stuff out, put it in a box, automatically get sorted over there, and we are happy. Actually, I do want to test that out right now, though. Let's see here. So if, uh, if the theory is correct, all the scrap metal should be put over here. If it's not, then we're just going to move that box over here and we're going to hope that it is close enough. It should be close enough, though. Should be. Let's see here. So I've put you, let's say, just right here, Mr. Boxy. And then I get the metal. And I put the metal over here. What happens to the metal? It leaves. And where does the metal go? Where does the metal go? 
it goes over here and we got 809 metal we can just simply do this whenever we need metal which we're not gonna need metal for a while and if anything we need hide um but yeah this is perfect i love this now the question of the day is should we should we combine this with the mantis farm because we could we could just like make this go up have the mantis spawn um and then the eggs lay and then they fall down just like the parasaur eggs do either that or do we make a completely separate farm for the mantises and if we do make a completely separate farm for the mantises where would that be more than likely right next to it like there right or even like there nah that's probably not enough space probably right right there um but i kind of want to just try the combination i, I want to see what that would look like if that would even work uh and if it does work i think that would be great i think that would be great but um yeah this episode is running a little bit long so we're just gonna cut it here thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it thank you thank you thank you um yeah you guys are awesome thank you and uh i will see you guys later have a great day morning evening and afternoon my friends and peace